some business with me? It is terribly late. I don't know if I'd call it business. I just wanted to talk to you. And we're teammates now, right? We don't have to be so formal with each other. I was always taught to address others with the utmost respect. Uh, that's fine. But you could try talking more casually with me if you wanted. Very well. I shall try. My apologies. I can't think of anything to say. I'm sorry, too. I kind of put you on the spot. And I might not be any better at conversation myself. Maybe if we keep chatting like this, it'd be good practice for both of us. Chatting? I see. I would be happy to speak with you whenever we have time. Great. I'll be looking forward to it, Kirika. Yes. I as well. Hey, Kirika. You want to talk for a bit? I was hoping I could get to know you a little better. Of course. Feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Uh, I wasn't just going to ask you a bunch of questions. I figured we could kind of make some small talk. Small talk? Yeah, like you could talk about something you thought was interesting recently, or whatever. Anything's fine. Very well. I'm not sure I'll be able to hold your interest, but I shall do my best. Wait, is Kirika nervous? Uh, well then. Um, nice weather we are having. What with the warm sun and gentle breeze. Yes, things are just peachy. Um, Kirika, it's nighttime. Huh? M my apologies. It appears this was more difficult than I thought. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting something like this to be what finally makes you panic. I... I was not panicking. I was just a little confused, perhaps. J just pretend you didn't hear that, please. Sure, but I'm glad I got to see a new side of you, at least. Do you think we can talk like this again sometime? I would be happy to. And I assure you, I will practice even smaller talk for next time. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it that much. I'll be looking forward to it. Yes, as will I. Pick the perfect day for an outing. You're right. Maybe the weather took a cue from your sunny outlook. Do you think? I'm glad if it's brightened your day, but hmm? over there. Huh? Kirika, where are you going? Too much. Why'd you just run off like that, Kirika? Huh? Who sh I think she's lost, but she won't talk to me. What should we do? Hey there, what's wrong? Where's your mom and dad? Oh, I want to 
needed to help Mommy, so I came to do shopping by myself, but I got lost. Aw, oh, that was really sweet of you. Don't worry, we'll help you get back home. Really? Thank you, mister. Hmm. It was a relief to see her back in her mother's arms, but... However did you get her to open up to you? Maybe it's because I got down to her level. Her level? It's scary to talk to someone who's way taller than you, right? I remember feeling like that when I was little. So I crouched down to match her eye level. I think that made her feel more comfortable. How terribly unfair. Huh? I'd only just thought of trying that. I know how to get people to open up. See? Whoa, Kirika, your face is a little close. Closeness is a vital part of getting to know someone. Surely that's common sense. I... I see. So, does that mean you want to get to know me better, Kirika? What? Uh, um... Well... Why ask that when you know the answer already? What about you, Yuma? Uh, of course I want to get to know you better. I hope we can learn to be closer. Yuma, that, that's not something you say directly to someone's face. We're going home now. And make sure you remain at my side, Yuma. I cannot have you getting lost. Sure, I got it. Let's go home. Kirika, what are we doing at the edge of town? Is this what you wanted to show me? I would like to introduce you to some friends of mine. Some friends? Here? Who do you mean? <laughs> you will know soon enough. It's time, everyone. You may come out. Uh, she's, she's beckoning, beckoning to, to a, a bush? bush? What is she doing? Whoa, what the? It's all right. These are my friends. Huh? You mean these cats? You called them here? I have no idea why, but they all flocked to me when I called to them. Oh, you want pets too? Patience, please, patience. We have the rest of the day to play. Kirika must really like cats. She looks so gentle when she's playing with them. Goodbye, kitties. Until next time. You must be a real cat person, Kirika. I could tell while you were playing with them. I've never seen you make that face before. Uh, what face? What was I doing exactly? How do I put it? You looked... spellbound. Practically enraptured. I'm sure I would never make such a bizarre face. You must have been mistaken. No, I didn't mean it in a weird way. It was more like, whoa, look out! Uh, uh. That was close. You scared me. Are you okay? Yes. Thank you for catching me. <sighs> Yuma? What's wrong? There it is again. You look mesmerized. <laughs> um, the face you just made was like the one you did before, and you turned all red. So it was cute. I mean, um, charming, or... I knew it! You're making fun of me, aren't you? I'll have to stay here and take this. No! That's not what I meant! Wait, Kirika! I meant it as a compliment. It's so hard to express myself to Kirika sometimes.
It's gotten pretty crowded. Should we get moving? Yes. What happened, Kirika? My sandal strap broke. I cannot walk in these. Oh, this looks fixable. Hold on, let's see. I guess my handkerchief would work. There you go. It's a temporary fix, but I think it should last until we get back to the Seagull Inn. Thank you, Yuma. I'm sorry you had to sacrifice your handkerchief for this. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. At the very least, would you allow me to buy you a replacement? You really are considerate, Kirika. Okay. If you really want to, I'd be happy to accept. Thank you. The pattern on this handkerchief is so beautiful. Can I really have this? Of course. Um, do you like it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. And my old one wasn't this colorful either. I'll take good care of it, I promise. I see. I'm glad you like it. Oh! Kirika? Is something wrong? My apologies, Yuma. I just remembered I have to buy something at the shop we just passed. I'll only be a moment. Oh, you forgot to buy something? I can go with you. No, that's all right. I can do it myself. Just wait here, please. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let us move on. Sure. What did you have to buy? Oh, well, nothing terribly important. You needn't concern yourself with it. Sorry. Huh? Did Kirika put something away? That looked like the same handkerchief I just got. Well, that takes care of the shopping. Shall we be on our way? Okay, let's go. Matching handkerchiefs, huh? It's a little embarrassing, but... Something about it makes me happy. <laughs> now we match.
Yuma, the decisive battle with Georg is at hand. Yeah. Are you nervous? A little, but I'm not afraid. I have you here with me, after all. Me too. As long as you're with us, I have faith we'll defeat Georg. And we'll make it back alive. I have faith in that, too. Yes. I know we can get through this, and save the world. As long as we're together, there's nothing we cannot accomplish. The war's over, but it'll be a while before things quiet down. Repairs will take time. Sonia, Agnum, and the others are all starting to go their separate ways. Kirika, too, I'm sure. Is she going back to Wellant, then? Kirika. Do you have a minute? Huh? She... she's not here. Don't tell me she went back to Wellant already. Kirika! Kirika! No, 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 no. Come on, Kirika. Where are you? Yuma? Kirika, thank goodness. I... I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you'd left. Yuma... You... K kirika You look like you're about to cry. I couldn't find you anywhere, so... So I thought... You'd left like everyone else. But you're still here. Thank goodness. As long as you're still here, Kirika... I'm not going anywhere. Uh? I thought you might have gone back to your people. And the idea of that... I couldn't bear it. All I thought about was how lonely I'd be without you. And I think... And I think that's... Because I love you. Yuma... I want you to be with me for the rest of my life. I need you by my side, Kirika. Please. You aren't the only one. Whenever you visit, I can't help but feel this warmth. I never thought to explore it. I never cared to, but... But now I'm beginning to understand. This feeling... It can only be... Love. Your hands. So warm. I don't ever want to let go of them again. And I'll never let go of you either. Stay here with me, Kirika. Forever. Yes, forever. An eternal bond. Come what may, keep me by your side. That's exactly where I want to be, Yuma. Hey, Leston. Can we talk for a minute? What is this about? Well, we've never had a real conversation before, right? We only talk about the war, or the Shining Dragon. I want to change that. Fine. In that case, Yuma, I have something to say to you. I have been watching you fight for a while now. Your swordsmanship is passable, but by no means sufficient. So, you don't think it's good enough? For now, yes. I see hesitation in your eyes and little else besides. As it stands, I could not trust you to guard my back in a fight. Although, there is some courage in your gaze and a strong sense of justice. Yeah, I don't want to spend my entire life just being herded around. I want to be able to protect others, too. However, a lone blade will accomplish nothing without a hand to guide it. Someone must give direction to your sense of justice. If you are troubled, or if you do not understand something, you may come to me. I will provide what guidance I can. <laughs> Thanks, Leston. I feel like I know you a little better now. Leston, you know how you told me to come to you? 
If I didn't understand something, I mean. I remember well enough. You have a question. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking. About the world, about the war, and about the Shining Dragon's power. And I guess I realized that the only thing I know is that I don't know anything. Ha! <laughs> the philosophical approach, is it? I don't know about that. It's just... The Empire had me in that cell for so long. I barely knew anything about the outside world. Ah, I see. They controlled you with fear. I imagine that questions or independent thoughts were... punished. So, out of self-preservation... Yeah, it's... hard to think for myself sometimes. But after fighting alongside everyone and talking with you, I think I understand more. I'm part of a team of friends, and we're all fighting back together. So the first thing I want to do is get to know the people closest to me. Hmm... The people closest to you. Sonya, then? Or perhaps Agnum? What do you mean? You're right here. I think you're the closest one right now. Me? Well, I suppose I could talk to you if you're really that curious about me. Ah, uh, no. I think it's gotten too late for discussions tonight. Perhaps I'll talk about myself another time. I'll be looking forward to it, Leston. Until then, keep pursuing your training. You still have quite a ways to go. Don't worry, I'm getting stronger. Someday I'll be able to watch your back in a fight. I look forward to that day. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to notice the seasons changing from here in the city. Hardly. You need to only pay attention and you'll see telltale seasonal plant life growing by the roadside. Hmm? That grass. Grass? It looks like an ordinary weed. Is there something special about it? This grass can be used as a medicinal herb to treat certain illnesses. It's that helpful? I had no idea. You can find it growing almost anywhere. Yet most have no idea of its properties. Possibly because so few know how to prepare it. Does that include you, Leston? Oh, I know how to use it, of course. Elven culture dictates that we live in harmony with nature in all aspects of our lives. So every elf would know, say, how to tell an edible mushroom from a poisonous one? Oh, I wouldn't say everyone knows, but it's certainly common knowledge among elves. Wow, I had no idea. I didn't discover all this myself, of course. I've simply inherited knowledge that has been passed down over many generations. So you learned all that from your family? Not just my family. Well, to me, everyone in my homeland feels like family of a sort. Wow, so it's not just Kirika. You're that close to everyone else, too. Oh, look, Leston, they've got shaved ice at that stand. Want to get some? I'm afraid I don't see the point. Isn't it simply crushed ice and fruit juice? If you're thirsty, you need only drink water. Why go to such lengths to freeze it just so you can eat it like this? I guess I see your point, but why don't you just try it? It'll taste good, I promise. I suppose, if you insist. Excuse me, one please. Okay, eat up. Get a big heaping spoonful. Right, if you say so. How was it? I confess, I do like this crunchy texture. It's hardly the most nutritional thing, but the flavor itself is not bad. See? If you make judgments before you even try it, then you're gonna miss out. True. I suppose you never know until you try. Uh, shopkeep. One more, if you please. Huh? Didn't you want one too, Yuma? Allow me to treat you. 
As thanks for introducing it to me. It wasn't that big a deal, really. You needn't be so modest. You gave me a new experience, and that surely deserves a reward. Okay, I guess I'll take it, if you don't mind. I'm glad he liked it. It feels like we're a little closer now. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad the weather turned out so nice. With all those clouds yesterday, I was worried there would be a storm. If you had observed the clouds' movements, you would have seen easily that there would be no rain. It seems you have much to learn. You already knew it wouldn't rain today? That's amazing, Leston. Huh? Is that boy crying? He's just huddling up and petting that dog by the roadside. What do I do? Everyone says it's too late. How do I save him? I wonder, what's wrong with the dog? Is it sick? I can see that you want to help him. Allow me to assist. Perhaps there is something we can do. Thanks, Leston. Hey, is that dog okay? It looks like he's hurt. Well, he hasn't been eating, and he hasn't moved since yesterday, and... <sighs> There's only people doctors in town. Nobody knows what to do when a dog's sick. Please, I want to help him. I can take a look. Allow me. Do you know what's wrong with him? Patience. Excuse me, but I need to see inside your throat. Weston! Hey, he's trying to help you. Calm down, both of you. He's just afraid. Come on, let go. I can't do much to help with your jaws around me. Much better. Now, open wide. Look this way. Let's see. Hmm. Weston, you're bleeding. Irrelevant. The dog's condition is what matters right now. Huh. Mister, how bad is it? He's fine. Should be back to normal in two days. Perhaps three. Really? Yes. It's barely more than a cold. Help him get plenty of fluids and make sure to change his drinking water. Thank you so much. But, Mr. Your Hand... Don't worry. This will heal in no time. You just make sure to take care of that dog. Understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're really kind, Leston. Anyone would have done the same. Our instincts demand that we help those who work hard or value their friends. And besides... What? I saw you wanted to help him. That was more than enough justification for me. Leston's... amazing. I want to be able to help people the same way he does. Yes. Those look heavy. Here, I'll carry half. Oh, thanks. Wait, that's your injured hand. Are you okay? You're still worried about that. Really, it was quite some time ago. It's long since healed. I shouldn't have any problems holding a weapon. Oh, well... Okay, then. <laughs> you certainly worry a lot, Yuma. Just like Kiriko when we were little. She'd see I hurt myself in training and burst into tears. If Kirika heard you talking like that, 
I'm sure she'd have some specific words for you. <laughs> You're right. I spoke without thinking. Strange. Talking with you feels almost like having a little brother. A little brother, huh? Well, if I had an older brother like you, maybe I would have acted just like Kirika did. Right. You're an only child. I apologize. Perhaps that was insensitive of me to speak of. It's okay. It's not your fault. Things were different back when I was captured. But now you're all here for me. So I'm not alone anymore. I'm not alone anymore. <clears throat> Would you like to know about Master Elise? About your mother? My mom? Where is this coming from? Even if you aren't alone anymore, family is still important. I think it might be good for you to know as much as you can of her life. Yeah, I'd love to know about my mom. If it's okay to ask. Let's see... where to begin. Ah, perhaps I'll talk about the time I hurt myself. That seems only appropriate. How did that happen? Well, I used to be quite reckless. When I caused myself harm, she would roar that I needed to learn to take better care of myself. And I yelled back, insisted that I was not afraid of being hurt. But she told me that to hurt myself was to hurt the ones I love. That woke me up. I couldn't help but remember, seeing you so worried for my sake. So my mom was always looking out for you. You could say that. It was a long time ago, but she often cared for my wounds. Disinfectant, bandages... I don't know if I've ever seen you this happy, Leston. <laughs> Perhaps I'm just relaxing for once. That's not a bad thing. You've got to loosen up sometimes, or you'll snap. You truly do have a kind heart, Huma. Just like my mom, huh? No. Just like you. I don't know how to react when he says all this. It's embarrassing. But in a good way. Yua, what's the matter? Not still nervous, are you? I'm fine. I'm not worried. We prepared as much as we could. So all that's left is... To fight as hard as we can. Yes. Listen, Yuma. There's a difference between being brave and foolish. We can't afford to lose you out there. Only act once you've assessed the field. If you find yourself in trouble, I'll be there to bail you out. And... I'd appreciate it if you could do the same for me. Brothers in arms know when to have each other's backs, after all. Effective cooperation is the secret to survival, if not to victory itself. <laughs> of course I'll have your back, Leston. Thanks. Finally. It's all over. Yes. Georg is dead. And no catastrophe is coming. Thank goodness. With that crisis seen to, I imagine the war effort will simply change focus and become the restoration effort. We'll likely go our separate ways. But this is a time to celebrate, I believe. We've restored the peace. Saved the world. Separate ways, huh? It never occurred to me we might split up at the end of all this. Sonia's busy rebuilding Astoria. I heard Agnum's going on a journey. Kirika and Rinna are going back to Wellant. But I'm not alone, am I? Yuma, consider. Would you like to visit Wellant, my homeland? Wellant? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd like that someday. Tch. Someday wasn't part of the question. I'm asking you to come back with me right now. I in that case, yeah, I want to go. Show me around Wellant. Word is, things are, uh, struggling a bit from the war. Restoring Wellant to its former glory is a daunting mission, but one I'm willing to accept. The real battle starts now and all that. Exactly. Not quite one fought with swords, but a battle nevertheless. To help as many people back onto their feet as we can. Compassion shall be our weapon, and understanding our armor. I think I've begun to see why the Shining Dragon chose you as his champion. 
He knew the world would need compassionate souls more than ever. Yeah, I want his legacy to be a peaceful world. A world without sorrow. Agreed. We certainly have our work cut out for us. There's a lot about this stuff I still don't know. Can I rely on you, Leston? Of course. Not to worry, Yuma. I'll be right here for you. Whenever something's on your mind, simply ask. Remember? Thank you, but that goes both ways now. If you want to talk anytime, we can talk. I want to help you, too. Beg pardon? You've already pulled more than your share of my weight, Yuma. Do you realize what a calming presence you are? What it means to me, simply having you here. I... I could tell you the same. It's good to know I'm not alone. Yuma, should I... Should I continue expecting to find you at my side? Today, tomorrow, till the end. Yeah, I... I want to stay with you, Leston. Forever. Forever, eh? Well, now you've gone and done it. <laughs> Very well. Yuma, I name you my lieutenant and right hand from this day forth. Do you accept? Yeah, of course I do. What is it? You want something from me? I don't know about that. I just want to know a little more about you, Rinna. Oh, I see how it is. You stroll up acting like we're gonna have a friendly chat, but really you're just trying to get inside my head? Huh? No. I didn't mean anything like that. Really, I just... It's not gonna be that easy, Yuma. If you think you can learn all my secrets that way, you've got another thing coming. What? What do you mean? If you really want to know about me, we're gonna have to get closer. Much, much closer. So let's just see how close we can get. Okay, Yuma? <laughs> Okay. It still feels like she's playing with my head, but I guess she's friendly enough. What's wrong, Yuma? Did you follow a trail of my feminine pheromones all the way here? Uh, nope. I just wanted to talk to you. Hopeless. Come on, I just got here. What are you calling me out for now? Listen, okay? You're supposed to say something like, Oh, yes, milady. I knew that scent would lead me to a beautiful maiden. You can't just give a serious answer when it's obviously a joke. That's super rude. Oh, sorry. I'm really not good at small talk. So, when I tell a joke, you shake your head and say, Oh, that Rinna. Then the trombone plays, everyone laughs, and I get to say a catchphrase. I... what? Who laughs? What's a... <laughs> Wait, was that a joke too? Wow, you really are hopeless. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You'll never make a good husband like this. Wait, husband? I guess I'm just going to have to educate you. Huh? Your ultimate training begins now. We are going to chat about absolutely nothing. You'll be a master of small talk in no time. I hope you're ready, because I'm a real strict teacher. Okay. Just go easy on me, please. She got kind of scary there, but... I guess it means she wants to talk to me. So... it's probably a good thing? Yeah, it is. 
It's almost like we're lovers, right? Uh, I... that might be taking it a little too far. Come on, a boy and a girl out on the town having a nice time together. We're practically dating already. I... I don't think that's how it works. I mean, we're not at that level, so... You know, Yuma, some people say going on dates like this is a little thing called fate accompli. A foregone conclusion, right? I, um, I don't know if that really applies here. But if we keep doing this, then it's bound to happen eventually, right? So, Yuma, any plans for our wedding? Something big and showy or small and intimate? But you're moving a little fast, don't you think? Besides, this is our first date. We're not even together or any of that stuff. So you can't just talk about marriage like it's just... Uh... <laughs> Wait. You're messing with me, aren't you? Yuma, you are so red right now. It's the most adorable thing. Are you really taking me seriously? You look so embarrassed. <sighs> She's teasing me again. I want to get back at her, but I can't say anything. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with her if I just rely on my words. What should I do? Hmm? Rina, you've got something on your shoulder. Huh? What is it? Hold still. I'll get it. Ah! Whoa! Are you okay? Where are you touching? Huh? There was something on your shoulder. I just brushed it off. Just brushed it off, huh? Then why did I feel something on my neck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my sleeve might have brushed against you? Sorry, I didn't know it would have this much of an effect on you. Well, the thing is, my neck is one of my weak spots. Kind of. Be more careful next time. There are serious consequences for making a lady squeak in public. Oh, okay, I'll be careful from now on. Oh, I guess I found one of Rina's weaknesses somehow. But I better not do it again. Is a lot. It's gonna spill out if we don't eat some. It's probably thanks to her charisma. She must have really gotten on the shopkeeper's good side. I wish I could do that. Mmm, <sighs> it's sweet and sour. These raspberries are the best. We don't want any leftovers now, Yuma. You want some? Uh huh? Rina, there are people watching. Oh, if this is all it takes to embarrass you, you're never gonna grow up. Now, say, uh... I... I'm... I'm, I'm so embarrassed. But Rinna is waiting. Ah, screw it. Uh... 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 Huh? Nope. Hey, I thought that was mine. <laughs> I only asked if you wanted some. It's about half a year too early for you to be eating out of my hand. <laughs> I can't believe you. You had me waiting there and everything. I'm only mean to you because I love you. But Lady Kirika's really nice. She might actually do that for you if you asked. Huh? And besides, Lady Kirika wouldn't tease you like I do. You wouldn't have to worry about being treated like my personal toy. I guess, but how did we start talking about Kirika all of a sudden? Well, I want you and Lady Kirika to get along. She's a really sweet person, you know. I want you two to get to know each other. Huh. Well, I appreciate the thought, but I'm with you right now. If anyone, I should be getting to know you. What? I'd prefer to talk about Kirika when she's around to hear it. I'd like to be friends with her too, of course. But you're the one who asked me out on the town. I want to hear about you. Uh, uh Rina? 
Are you okay? You seem kind of out of it. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Is Rina okay? She's turning red. I hope she hasn't caught a cold or anything. <laughs> lot of herbs. Are they all for tea? There's all kinds of them. Of course. Any good lady knows her tea. I'll be having some with Lady Kirika when we get back to the inn. You can have some too. Sure, I guess. I'll only need a little bit. Thanks. So it makes sense that you have paid for it, right? What? How does that make sense if I'm only having a little of it? Hey, men always pay in situations like this. You should really be thanking me, Yuma. I'm giving you a chance to be super chivalrous. I'm not really sure I wanted that chance. Oh well, fine. I'll pay for it. Yay! I knew it, Yuma. All you need to do is understand a woman's heart and you'll be a grown man. I think I'm being manipulated. Let's go somewhere else. Am I paying there too? Oh, we picked up a lot today. Thanks for carrying everything, Yuma. I'm glad you're happy. I don't think my wallet can take much more of this, though. Okay, last up, the accessory shop. We're still not done? Aw, don't make that face. Let me make it up to you. You can pick anything you want, for me. Hey, Yuma, this one or this one? Which looks better on me? Hairpins? Well, they're not that expensive, so either would be fine. Hey, look at the design, not the price. Which one would you pick for me? Hmm, I think this sunflower one. You're so happy all the time, so I think it suits you. Sunflower it is. Excuse me, can you wrap this up? So much for my spending money. I'm going to have to stay out of the market for a while. Yuma? Wow, that was fast. What's up? Thanks for the hairpin. It means a lot to me. Um, why do you look so serious all of a sudden? It wasn't that expensive. Not enough for anything this dramatic. But you picked it out, so I'll treasure it forever. Rina. <laughs> I promise, I'll take good care of it. Yuma, something you want to talk about, or...? Oh, well... Mm hmm let me diagnose. You're nervous before the big fight, right? Yeah, a little. <laughs> oh, Yuma, can't you relax? You're stronger than you give yourself credit for, and you'll be in good hands out there. And you know I'm gonna be right there with you. So don't worry, okay, Yuma? Rina, thanks. I'm feeling braver already. Things around here sure got lonely in a hurry. The city's busier, definitely, but it feels quiet. Sounds weird when I put it like that, though. It's probably because everyone's finally going their separate ways. Agnum's heading off on a journey somewhere far away. Leston and Kirika are leaving for Welland. Makes me wonder about Rinna. Will she stick with Kirika? Without Rinna around, I don't know if I... Something wrong over here? You're brooding in a corner all by yourself. We saved the world. Can't you let yourself relax? Rina. What's on your mind, Mopey Pants? Rina's here so you can let it all out. I 
Guess I'll just say it. I'm worried about you. About me? Yeah, it's just Kirika's leaving for Elvenland soon, right? And taking her attendance with her? <laughs> I don't want you to go. Stay with me, Rinna. Here, please. I love you. I... I don't think I've ever loved anyone more. Yuma... So, I don't want you to go anywhere. Stay on my side f No, wait. Be on the side. <laughs> I can't believe I just messed that up. I had one shot at this. <laughs> oh, wow, you screwed that one up. You want to try that one again, Yuma? <laughs> the look on your face. Oh, man. I, I'm never going to live this down. Death by embarrassment. It's here at last. <laughs> wow. I guess we gotta work on you. I thought you've gotten all mature and dependable, but it looks like you still need a lesson or two from your friendly neighborhood, Rinna, huh? Rinna, I... Yuma, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. With you. Rinna... Besides, I should be the one worried about letting you go off on your lonesome. Until you can stretch your wings and leave the nest, I'll take care of you. Prepare yourself for pampering. Rena, thank you. Oh, and Yuma, just letting you know, you can't do better than me. Huh? What do you mean? Because my love for you is ten times greater than your love for me, silly. I'm not budging an inch on this. The person who loves you most in the whole wide world is me. That should do it. Don't touch it too much. Now you need only rest. Oh, right. Thank you. Well, thanks. I guess I should probably get going. If something needs to be said, then speak. There's no point in keeping something bottled up. Oh, really? It was fate that brought us together. When something is troubling you, or you need something, I will ever be at your side. If you say so. I'm actually having a lot of trouble sleeping. Hmm. Then stay here. I will keep you company until you feel tired once more. Why does Genus look so sad? Genus, do you feel pity for those we can't see? Not particularly. Oh, um, what I mean is... Sorry, it's hard to explain, but... When we were talking about that, you felt really... distant. Oh, I guess it was just me who was feeling lonely. Wow, that's embarrassing. Sorry I started talking about all this weird stuff. No, Yuma. 
It's all right. Really? I will say only this as your comrade and ally in battle. I have a mission to carry out, and I will never forsake it. Oh, yeah. I know that. I will never abandon you without notice or reason. If you feel a distance between us, we can strive to change that. Yeah. Thanks, Genus. What is this? When the time comes, its significance will become clear. But I'm afraid that's all I can tell you for now. Are you sure I should have this? Wouldn't it be safer with you? I trust you, and I think it belongs in your care. Unless... this is too much of a burden on you. No, I understand. Then I'll hold on to it. I'll keep it safe, and I won't lose it, no matter what. I'm glad to hear it. Put it away for now, Yuma. I wouldn't want you dropping it. Okay, I'll put it somewhere safe. Your sincerity does you credit, but there's no need to push yourself. I'm not. I was just glad to find out that I haven't been dragging you around. Regarding that, I will try to be more expressive. In turn, I ask that you tell me when my demeanor bothers you. Yeah, I'll let you know when I'm worrying. I mean, we're brothers in arms, right? <laughs> that we are. Speaking of which, while I do think of you as a friend, is there any way I might assist you outside the bounds of simple friendship? I guess there is something, but I feel a little weird asking. If a friend asks a favor, it is hardly unreasonable to listen. Then, can you train me? I want to be strong like you. <laughs> Certainly. Thanks. I need to figure out some way to make it up to you, but what can I do? Perhaps I can train you, and you can continue showing me around the city. Yeah, of course. Then it's decided. I look forward to our continued partnership, Yuma. <laughs> There's so many places we still have to go. 
Thanks for coming with me today, Genus. Let's go. Sorry for making you wait, Genus. I got the kids back to their homes. And they all thought you were mad at them. I'm not mad. But why do they care? They felt really bad about what they did. I think they were just trying to imitate you because they admired you. 
It sounded like they really look up to you. I think they'd like to talk. Foolishness. I think it would explain why they felt so bad about worrying you. But they shouldn't be involving themselves with me. What? It's the truth. It's what's best for them. But I... Yuma, this conversation is over. I wish I could do something for Genus, but I still don't know him well enough to help him with his real problems. Okay. Um, what's that you're holding? Some kind of herb? A good master must consider the well-being of his apprentice. These herbs are helpful for stress and fatigue. Use them at your leisure. Thanks. I was just thinking I needed some rest. I see. Good, then. I believe we're almost out of time. Shall we head back? Sure. I just want to catch up to him. If we do become equals, will Genus finally start trusting me? Thank you.
We should go home too, Genus. Yuma. Huh. Something wrong? When I said you were dependable, that was not merely an excuse. I meant what I said. And today... From the moment we began on our journey around the city, all day, I feel I have been relying on you. You... were? Yes. It's a strange feeling. I had almost forgotten what it felt like. <laughs> but it's getting late. We should head back. Yeah. I disagree. You've become strong. Strong enough to stand without my assistance. It will be bittersweet when my role finally does end. Genus? This is the final battle, Yuma. For you, for me, all of us. Keep your resolve and we'll all make it back. Believe in that. Yeah. Thanks, Genus. We can do this. I know it. It's finally over. I'm so glad we were able to make it back without losing anyone. Oh, that's right. Genus wanted to talk to me after everything was said and done. Though, if it's that important, maybe it's best I wait for him to come to me? Ah well. Yeah, I've been keeping it safe. You trusted me with it, didn't you? I see. Hold on to it a while longer, if you could. It'll be right here. You're really leaving, huh? Do you know when you'll be back from your trip? It may be some time. My life's work is done, but there are other ways I might yet... Well... I suppose I should explain myself now. Georg and Deus are defeated. Dead and gone. But I've heard of some troubling things lately. Vestiges of the catastrophe still raging overseas. If all goes to plan, I'm hoping to travel there and use what power I have left to help people instead of kill. For whatever part I had in bringing about this future, I wish to see it protected. To guide it down a path to peace. And to that end... Yuma... When I go, will you come with me? Of course. You know I will. Oh? Very good. A relief, to be honest. A relief? Genus, you weren't nervous just now, were you? It just goes to show I'm human after all. At the end of the day, I can still feel fear. I can... <laughs> I can still feel anxious. I hadn't felt those things in a long, long time. And then, when you disappeared, those emotions came surging back. I thought I'd lost you forever. It's thanks to you that I feel human again at all. A hundred years of solitude, of placidity. I feared reconnecting with people, and yet... You've reawoken something of the ordinary in me. I should thank you. You've taught me stuff too, you know. 
You make me sound so much more... profound. I treasure the time we get to spend together. I really, really do. Yuma. So hearing you call me partner, inviting me along on your journey, that means a lot to me. If you'll have me along, Genus, I'd love to go with you. I see. Well, that just leaves the question of our first destination, doesn't it? Any ideas, Yuma? <laughs> Yuma? Something I said? No, no, just... You asked me for my opinion. I'm not gonna lie. It feels nice to be helpful to someone. <laughs> You'll get used to it. I think I rely on you more than either of us realizes. Yeah, let's go, Genus. I want to see the world with you, and help change it together. Yes. I think I'm going to enjoy this deeply, Yuma. Shall we? Oh, it's you. Is there something you require of me? <laughs> I brought you something warm to drink since it's been getting colder. Careful, the mug's hot. I appreciate your concern, but what of yourself? Huh? Oh, I didn't even think about bringing one for myself. You truly are helpless. I suppose I had better prepare some for you. I shall return. Thanks. It always seems to taste better when someone else makes it for you. If you say so. Now, was there something you... <laughs> Forgive me, Yuma, but you appear to have suddenly developed a distinguished white mustache. <laughs> huh? Oh! Man, that's embarrassing. But it made Excella smile, so I guess it's fine. You have to understand, I never thought I'd be able to enjoy life like this. Happiness just seemed like something I... couldn't have. But now I've made so many friends, and my life is actually... fun. And I've got you, Excella. That's one of the best parts. I see. You're here. You're on my side, and I couldn't be happier. You're not just a fairy tale. You're my flower in the moonlight. You granted my wish. Wow, that all sounds really cheesy when I say it out loud. <laughs> Perhaps so, but... I think I can sleep now, thanks to those words. Really? I'm glad. Hey, Excella, Whenever you can't sleep like this, you can always come find me, okay? I'll talk with you until you can sleep. Alright. If it happens again, I will call upon you. I hope Excella tells me everything that's bothering her someday. I want to know her better.
Please, take this. I would have you keep it close. What is it? It's something very precious to me. If it's that important, are you sure I should be taking care of it? I believe it belongs in your hands. Please, no more questions for now. Okay, well, if you trust me that much, then I'll take good care of it. You have my thanks. Today ended up rather fulfilling. I owe you thanks, I suppose. It was really fun for me, too. Really? I treated it rather like another market inspection, so... I feared you might have grown bored. Not at all. I feel like I got to see a different side of the city thanks to you. And I got to see your perspective on it. So now I feel a little closer to you. And... that's good, right? I see. I'm glad you enjoyed it, then. Was I, um, okay as a guide? Of course. Truly, it was only thanks to your guidance that I enjoyed myself. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yes, so, that said, regarding our next... Oh, you want to do something like this again? Yes, certainly. I'd be happy to accompany you, for the sake of further research. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best then. Hopefully we can get some more research done. Oh, why... Why is it so difficult to express these things?
can't even tell what the flavor is. I... I need to focus more on eating. <laughs> Hold still, Yuma. You appear to have a passenger. Excella? What's wrong? Well, um... Did she just stroke my face? Some errant cream on your cheek, I'm afraid. This is so embarrassing. Oh, wait. Excella has some on her face, too. And what are you smiling about? <gasps> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> just getting you back. <laughs> I suppose we've both let our guards down. It's true. I didn't even realize it myself. That's so funny. Yes, but this has been nice. I'd like to go out like this again, just the two of us. Yeah, more research, right? <laughs> you tease more than I expected. <laughs> it's just a joke. I'd be happy to spend some more time with you. Excella seems so down. I wonder if there's something I can do for her. Uh, Yuma? W what are you doing? If you hold me that tight. Oh, sorry. Um, I guess I just had a sudden panic. It felt like you were going to leave me behind. I... see. I... But if I hold on to you, you won't go anywhere, right? I mean, I don't want you to leave. Of course. I feel the same. <laughs> Your hand is warm. Doesn't this make it look like we're... together? Don't look at me. Say something, will you? At times like this, a well-chosen word is more valuable than silence. It's taking me a courage unlike anything I've ever felt before to do this. Well, as long as we're holding hands like this, do you want to walk together? Ah, yes. A fine suggestion. Let us walk. Today was truly a welcome relief. I cannot help but feel a certain melancholy that our time together is ending soon. Yeah, I feel the same way. Hey, Excella, would you go on another date with me? Really? I... I would very much like to go on a date with you. Okay, we can do everything else you wanted to do. Yes, it's a problem.
Um, what does Excella want with me in her bedroom? This is what I have been hoping for. I'd like to read you a story that's close to my heart. She's so close. Wait, read me a story. What is it, Yuma? Do you not like this book? And the princess and knight lived happily ever after. So, what do you think? A fine... Um, yeah. Good story. Oh no, I can't think of what to say. My heart's pounding so loud, she's bound to hear it any second. I do resent an unquiet heart. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, not yours. I was referring to mine. Huh? Yours too? Wait, I mean... Yuma? Perhaps I could borrow your chest? Excella? Um... Your heartbeat calms me. Yuma? Do you still have that sigil that I... Well, never mind. Forget I spoke. That sigil? Just what is it? Hey, Excella, about that. I believe it's time to switch. Huh? Whoa! Excella's holding me. My heart's pounding out of my chest, but... Hers is so nice to listen to. I was so worked up yesterday, I couldn't... <sighs> sleep. It feels so nice when she runs her fingers through my hair. Hmm. Yuma? Fallen asleep, have you? <laughs> what sort of dreams are you having? Am I in them? Whatever the case. I hope they bring you joy. There is one last secret I have been keeping from you. I... And so we arrive at the decisive battle. I hope you realize this will be a more dire test than anything else you've faced. I know. But I will defeat Georg. He has to be stopped. That's all there is to it. Yes, I have faith. But this means our time together is coming to an end. If only... No, I shouldn't speak of such things. Excella. Hey, Excella. Don't forget. You're not alone. Not anymore. <laughs> I am no longer the woman I was. Nor, I imagine, can I ever be that woman again. Whatever the shape of my power, I wield it for you now. Thank you, Excella. It means a lot. Make no mistake, Yuma. Everyone, every person charging headlong toward this battlefield, will return from it. Yeah. Weird. I can't find her. She didn't go back to the mainland without saying anything, did she? No, she wouldn't have. Not here either. She couldn't have.
Yeah, it was really important to you, right? I've got it right here. Do you want it back now, or...? No, continue caring for it. Treat it as you treat me. Am I understood? <laughs> I see. I'll hold on to it. I promise. Um, furthermore... Huh? Let it be known that I love you. Huh? <laughs> I must look the fool, and now... Oh, this would be a great deal easier if my hands weren't shaking. But even if I do look foolish, I wanted you to know. They are shaking. <laughs> Mine are doing the same. I wanted you to know something too, Excella. I was saving it for when this was all over. It, it... I love you too. I don't want to see you get hurt. And I want to stay by your side. No better place to watch you flourish. Yuma. There's a lot for you to worry about still, isn't there? Even with the war over. You are not incorrect. Then let me stay with you. You can worry about that stuff, and I'll look after what you... <laughs> tend to forget. Forget? What have I forgotten? Well, for starters, the sides of you that you never show to anyone else. Sides? They still shine through in the details. Like that face you make when you're enjoying a good dessert. Or when you talk about your books. I, I truly am fortunate. You really do care about me, don't you? What? You only just noticed? <laughs> just don't think you're about to go and outdo my feelings for you. Those are without peer. <laughs> of course. Hey, Excella. You got any plans for today? Oh, just the one, I think. Staying here with you. Just like this. Yo, Yuma. All good? You holding up over there? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you, Agnum? Oh, I'm always at the top of my game. Why do you look so down? Come on, we partners gotta get each other fired up. Do I look down? I feel pretty normal. Wait, when did we become partners? I mean, we're a little closer compared to when we first met, but... Don't overanalyze it! If we can tell what the other's thinking just by looking at them, that makes us partners. Just by looking? <laughs> That's quite an idea. What's so funny? Sorry. So, partners, huh? I kind of like the sound of that. It might be a bit early to say it now, but I think we'll get to that point eventually. Of course. We're gonna be buddies before you know it. I can tell. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it, Agnum. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. You could use a little more hype, but don't worry. That's what I'm here for. Don't forget, Yuma. We're gonna push you all the way to the top. See ya. Agnum's, Agnum's always, always so energetic. energetic. Partners, Partners, huh? I hope we can really be that close someday. Agnum, do you have a second? What's up? You hungry? You can whip something up right now if you want. What? No, I just ate. Oh yeah? Your mouth says no, but your eyes say more food. No, seriously, I I'm full. You sure? A real man's ready to eat whenever there's food, even after a five-course meal. Is that how that works? Yeah. Well, for me it is. Somehow, I can see that. Ha! Ah, come on, lighten up. Okay, so if it's not about food, what's the deal? It's nothing serious. I'm kind of stuck with nothing to do right now. So, I was hoping for someone to talk to. Makes sense. Well, that's fine by me, but don't you have anywhere you can go for that? Someplace fun? I'd go if I had one, but I don't really know what I'd even do there. Hey, you really are new to this, huh? Okay, if that's how it is, I can teach you how to have fun. Fun? Board games, card games, oh, and some pickup lines for the ladies. 
I'm gonna give you the works. Really? That sounds like a lot of fun. Ah, uh, apart from the pickup lines. You really don't mind? Of course not. You're my partner. I'm gonna help you out. That's what we do, right? Thanks, Agnum. I'll do my best to pay you back when the time comes. Hey, don't worry about it. Chill out a little, man. Okay, let's start you off with something easy. How's it going? All right, I'm counting on you. Check her out. Who? The girl that just walked by. Now she was my type, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your type? You know, your type, the, the type of girl you like. You gotta have one, right? Um, I don't know. Like, maybe you go for the slender girls? Or are you into classy girls with that elegant style? No, really, I don't have anything like that. I've never really paid much attention to girls. Me? I like some curves on my ladies. It's all about the dynamics, buddy. The high notes and the low notes. The crescendos. Mm. Thanks, Agnum. <laughs> Didn't need to know that. <laughs> Look at you getting all embarrassed. That's adorable. Agnum, stop grinning at me like that. Sorry, sorry. I just didn't realize you were such a late bloomer. We're gonna have to work on that. Work on what? Yuma, go pick up some girls. What? You gotta get your feet wet sometime, man. Seize the day! But I'm not good at that stuff. I mean, I've never tried it before, and... Relax. Everyone starts out as a beginner. Just give it a try. <laughs> Okay, I'll just, uh... No, I can't do it. Agnum, can you show me how? You can do it, right? Uh, well, uh, about that. Agnum? Thing is, uh, it's really better if you learn by doing it yourself, sort of. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is, uh, awkward. I've, um, <clears throat> never actually picked up any girls either. Huh? I mean, I, I get as far as saying hi and, and starting a conversation, but, well, after that, I, you know how it is, man. I get, I get nervous. Honestly, in your case, I, I was thinking the girls would just be coming up to you instead, but, uh... <laughs> wow. I guess you're a late bloomer too, Agnum. I gotta say, I'm surprised. Hey, don't give me that. <laughs> Sorry. I guess we have that in common, though, huh? Let's forget about all the pickup stuff. I'd be happy just going somewhere and talking with you. I want to get to know you better, Agnum. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sure, let's just chat for today. So, what is your type? Oh, come on. Not everything has to be about that, you know? Up. How's it going? Mmm, I love this texture. Oh, I'm so glad they have this stuff out here. Ugh, I don't know how you can eat that. It doesn't even look like they cooked the frog at all. I... I can't watch. What, this too hardcore for you? You should really give it a try. It tastes just like chicken. Oh, it just looks so creepy. That doesn't bother you, Agnum? Yeah, when you're traveling on your own, you get used to eating this stuff. But too creepy, huh? You telling me you'd eat it if it was cute? I think that'd bother me for a different reason. I don't know what to tell you, man. It needs meat. That's not the problem here. 
and relax. Kidding, mostly. But I kind of think eating meat is a sign of respect. Huh? Forget all the monsters and dangerous stuff for a second. What it comes down to is that this animal is dying so we can eat it. We're killing it for the sake of extending our own lives. So it's only natural we thank it for its sacrifice. I get what you're saying, but... Well, it's probably more complicated than that. It's not like I'm... Oh, look! What? Over there in that bush. Looks like a baby bird. Oh, must have fallen from the nest. Okay. Agnum, what are you snapping that branch for? Just wait and see. Okay. There you... Oh, using the branch to put the chick back in the nest. Nicely done, Agnum. I guess. But why didn't you just use your hands? That would have been a lot easier. Hey, I don't know if Mama Bird's gonna like smelling me all over her baby. Don't want her to freak out if she smells a human. Wow, you even considered that? You're so nice, Agnum. You're considerate of other life, and you have your own philosophies, even when it comes to something like eating. I'm impressed. What? Come on, man. Don't spout all that crap. Making me feel all weird. But I really was impressed. Uh, Agnum? Um, well, thanks. But I don't think I did anything you couldn't do. I mean, you're a pretty competent guy yourself. Oh, I don't know. Next time something like this happens, it's all you. Don't forget. Okay, I'll try and follow your example then. How's it going? Oh, yeah! Yeah! Crowded today, huh? Yeah, there sure are a lot of people. Whoa! You okay, Yuma? Sheesh, thought I lost you for a second. Ow! With all these people, you can't even walk around. Yeah, you're right. There aren't any festivals today, so what's going on? We might have come at a bad time. What do you want to do? Should we head back to the inn? But we're already here. Hmm. Oh, I know. This way, Yuma. I know just the place. What do you mean? What place? Relax, you'll know when we get there. Agnum, what are we doing here? Hey, there's no one here, and the view's nice. It's not a bad place to pass the time, right? Oh, you're right. It is quiet here. And there's no crowds, so we can take it easy. Nice job thinking of this place, Agnum. Yeah, I guess you'd say this place is kind of significant to me. Significant how? Well, when I was a kid, I came to this city with my family. At the inn, I made a mess of the kitchen. My parents were pissed. So I ran out. <laughs> I was crying like a baby, wandering around town when I ran into this really nice lady. She really cheered me up, and she told me about this little secret place. It's weird, but after that, I went straight back to my parents and apologized. I'm really thankful for what she did. Wow, I never knew that about you. <laughs> so that's the kind of kid you were, huh? Hey, don't give me that look. We were all kids at some point in our lives. <laughs> I bet you were just as energetic and pushy back then as you are now. <laughs> what about you? You've got some energy yourself. I guess. Still, this is a really nice spot. I know, right? If you brought a girl here, she'd be head over heels for you. Big talk from a guy who's never asked a girl out. <sighs> Low blow, man. Low blow. <laughs> Sorry, Agnum. Sheesh, and after I told you that story about my childhood, too. 
You know, you're the first person I've ever told that to. Really? Yeah. That memory is really important to me. Until now, I've always kept it to myself. But now you've told me. Why? I don't know. I guess you must be pretty important to me, too. Oh. Thanks, Agnum. Yuma, how you feeling? Ready to get in there? You know it. Fate of the world hanging in the balance? Sounds like our kind of work. That's what I like to hear, partner. No sweat. Next to us, Georg will be like a candle in the wind, right? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. We'll get him, Yuma. The whole world's watching. We'll get him. Yeah. <sighs> the war's over. I should feel good about that, right? Why do I just feel lonely? Peace has returned. The city is on its feet again. People are smiling. It's strange. It seems like the more the city comes back to life, the quieter things get around me. Everyone will be going back to their old lives or striking out to start new ones. That's good too, but it still feels like I'm being left behind. We spent so much time together. I wonder what everyone's plans are now. Sonia has her duties as princess. Kirika is going back to Wellant, probably. What about Agnum? I haven't heard anything from him. Even though we're friends, we don't talk much. Man, what are you doing moping over here for? You're always agonizing over some little thing. Hey, Agnum. What were you up to today? Packing up. My map's still got a bunch of blanks on it. Might as well head out and keep filling it, right? I see. It's gonna be lonely without you. What? Lonely? What are you talking about? Hurry up and go get your stuff, or I'm leaving you behind, Slowpoke. What? Hold on. You mean I can go with you? Obviously. I mean, it wouldn't be much of a trip without you along. After that last battle, I'm starting to realize what a guy you are. Strong, compassionate, reliable. I was kind of hoping we could get to know each other a little better. And if you're down, that road doesn't have to stop. We can go all the way to the edge of the world if you want. You wouldn't mind? I'm not all that, really. Hey, no. You're strong enough to stand on your own two feet now. And you're more compassionate than anyone I know. That's the Yuma I saw in that last fight, and that's the Yuma I want along on this trip. I'm not taking no for an answer, by the way. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. Of course I want to go. Hold on, okay? I can go get packed in a hurry. Hop to it then, man. Oh, and, uh... What? Uh, well... How to put this? Uh... I don't know how much you've noticed, but, uh, I'm not perfect. I still lose my patience a lot. Or my temper. And that might get turned on you at some point. And I don't mean to do it, it's just a thing. Big, messy, work in progress. You still sure you want to come with me? <laughs> of course I do, Agnum. I just hope I can keep up. Right on. Thanks, man. I think, I think this is gonna be a fun trip. Ready to hit the road when you are. Yeah, let's make the most of it. Hey, what's got you up so late? Nothing. I just thought we could talk a little. Sure. I was a little bored myself. Still, I was kind of surprised you wanted to talk to me alone. Oh, uh, sorry if that was weird. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wasn't actually bothered, just... You kinda made me nervous. Okay. This is probably the first time we've had a normal conversation, huh? Now that you mention it, yeah. But it doesn't really feel like it's the first. I kind of know what you mean. It's like I already know you. Yeah, that's it. 
You're really easy to talk to, Sonia. <laughs> Maybe. I wonder why. Well, anytime you feel like talking like this, you can come find me. I'd be glad to. Hey, Yuma. I've been thinking. What? Are you doing something with your hair? I don't know how you get it all smooth like that. Do you mind if I touch it? Huh. Sure, if you want. Sonia, you're a little close. It is smooth. Is this seriously natural? Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair's just all dark and bulky. She smells nice. Is this what all girls smell like? Aw, I wish I had hair like yours. But your hair's so pretty, and it smells nice. Huh? I, um, really? I don't really know how to react when you say it like that. You're gonna make me blush. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Yuma. Thanks? So that wasn't awkward or anything? No, no. It was nice, just unexpected. Night, Yuma. Okay. Good night, Sonia. Hello. again soon you sure are popular you're getting recognized on all sides I know everyone here I love going to all these stores so whenever I go out oh hey just a second looks like they're calling me over again Yuma do you mind if we go huh are you sure you're going to be okay eating that much I'm fine besides everything seems to taste better than usual Can I get the usual skewers? And the fried one right there, too. Sonia eats this much? It's kind of satisfying just watching her. You want some, Yuma? They use really good meat for these skewers. Sure, I'll try some. Hmm. Hmm, this is delicious. <laughs> right? These are the best in Astoria. And it's so juicy, too. I can see why you like these so much. Mm. Sonia, if you keep talking while you eat... <coughs> I tried to warn you. Mm. Mm. Yuma, need a, a drink? Huh? I mean, I bought this juice earlier. Give it here! Huh? What's wrong? Wait, Yuma, were you just drinking that? Yeah, I... I was before. Oh, so, um, that means... <sighs> hey, why didn't you say anything before I... I... I mean, you didn't give me much time. Oh, right. Yeah. Don't, Don't blush, blush so much. much. I'm getting embarrassed too. I feel like 
walking more today. Do you want to go somewhere, Yuma? The market again, or...? Hmm, let's see. Maybe... You want to just go for a walk? Casually go shopping, and casually go to the park, and casually... Sonia, calm down. If we try and fit in all those stops, keeping it casual might get hard. Huh? Do you think so? Sorry. But you're right. Sorry. When I thought about where I want to go with you, all these places just kept coming to mind. I see. Well, it's your day off. We can go anywhere you want to go. Really? Thanks. Well, come on. We've got a big day ahead of us. <laughs> Sonia's in a really good mood today. Or am I just imagining it? Hmm? What's up? No, it's nothing. Oh, before we go. Here. What's this? Open it. Okay. Wow, a pendant. It's beautiful. One of the merchant ladies at the market recommended it to me. I thought it would look good on you. W for me? Yuma, thank you. I love it. No problem. I'm just glad you liked it. I... I'm going to treasure this, Yuma. I promise. Are you okay, Sonia? Sorry, miss. I was looking the other way and... Uh, wait, Princess Sonia! I'm so sorry, Princess. Are you hurt? No, no, it's fine. We just brushed up against each other, that's all. Are you all right? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry. We're so sorry. Excuse us, Princess Sonia. That was a real shock. I can't believe I bumped into the princess herself, of all people. You were off in your own thoughts again, weren't you? If you wander around like that, you'll get in the way, dear. Come closer. Oh, those two look so intimate. Holding hands and walking so close to each other. It looks really nice. Maybe one day, Yuma and I could be like that. Could be like what? What? Uh, no, uh, nothing. Never mind. Was Sonia imagining holding hands with Sonia? Huh? N nope. Don't worry about it. It's a little crowded here. Maybe we should go somewhere else. <coughs> oh no! Do you have a cold? Here, I'll find a doctor. No, it's fine. I just breathed in the wrong way. Really? Oh, good. Thanks for worrying about me so much. Oh, you don't have to thank me. You're an important friend to me. It's only natural that I'd worry. Sonia's been doing this a lot lately. I wonder why. Oh, I know! There's this medicine that's supposed to work really well for coughs. Just wait here, I'll go buy some. No, it's fine. I'm really okay. Oh, well, good. Huh? Yuma, you've got something on your shoulder. Hold still, I'll get it. Oh, um, where? I can get it off myself. So you don't need to worry about me. It's fine. You always say you're fine. Then what do you want me to do for you, Yuma? I want to help. Huh? I don't know how to answer that. Well, figure it out. Um... What's got you so flustered? There's got to be something I can do for you. Well, I mean, I'm honestly happy just being with you, Sonia. What? 
I always have fun just walking and talking with you. I couldn't ask for more from you than that. So that's how you feel, huh? Sonia? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That's better. Sonia's always cutest when she's smiling. The final battle is here. Yuma, are you ready? Of course. Let's take down Georg and save the world. <sighs> Sonia, what's wrong? I've said it before, but... You've really come into your own, Yuma. You've become so dependable since we met. <laughs> Give me a break. Don't bring that up. <laughs> All right. I won't say a thing. Let's just get out there and do our best. This feeling again. The excitement's finally over, and I just feel... Depressed. Anxious. I wonder why. Marga's well on its way to recovery. But this weight on my chest just won't go away. It's probably because... There you are, Yuma. What are you doing over here? Uh, Sonia! You scared me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Having Sonia around does ease the anxiety a bit, though. I don't feel quite so... empty. Yuma? What's the matter? I'm sure of it, now that I've had a chance to see Sonia again. There's more to these feelings. I... I have something important to tell you. Something important? What's... Whoa. Okay, you're leaning in really close now. Yuma, you're gonna make me blush. Look, it's important. I just want to be sure you understand. I... I know, but when you get in close like that... Sonia, listen to me. Okay. Listening. I... I love you. And I want to be with you. Huh? There's this image in my head of us growing old together. And I... I want to see that be real. Do you know how long I've been waiting to hear you say that? Huh? Didn't catch that, sorry. What did you say? Ah! You're gonna make me repeat myself? Come on! I said... I've been waiting to hear you say that, because... because I love you, too. Sonia... But, but if we do this, there'll be pressure on you. I'm a princess, so there's courtly protocols to figure out, and it'll complicate your life, too. I don't care. And as you're more than aware by now, I have a short temper and like to bottle things up, which I know isn't really healthy, and... So I'll protect you. We'll work through it all together. And if I asked for all the most delicious food in the world? Then I'd run around finding ingredients until you were satisfied. And a chef, too. Then... Then I... All those little sides of you are things I want to share in. That's how much I love you, Sonia. I love all of you. Yuma... Let's make each other happy, okay? Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Promise. I'll never let you go, I swear. Yuma, I'm so happy. No matter what happens, no matter who disapproves, even if the whole country is against my prince, I'll still love you. So don't you ever let me go, Yuma. Did you need something? It's nothing too big. I was just wondering what you were up to. Nothing really. Just sitting here and resting. I'm a little tired today. I see. Yeah, we've been dealing with a lot lately. Do you want me to go grab you something to drink? Yuma, are you worried about me? Of course I'm worried about you. We're friends, aren't we? Friends. I see. We're friends. It's kind of embarrassing having to say it directly like that, but yeah, we are. Yuma, thank you. I'm glad we could be friends. I hope we stay that way for a long time. Well, yeah, I do too.
Hey, Marion. Hey, Yuma. What are you doing up so late? I was actually hoping to talk to you. What are you up to? Just thinking. About what? Are you worried about something? No, it's nothing like that. I've just got a lot to think about. Processing everything that happened today, making plans for tomorrow. I didn't know you had so much on your mind. If you want me to give you some space, I can... No, it's okay. I can make time for you. What did you want to talk about? I'm not really sure now that you ask me. Oh, I know. What are you thinking about doing tomorrow? Do you have any plans? Not really. I just want to do something fun. Something fun, huh? So, what's your idea of a good time? Me? Hmm. I think I have the most fun when I'm talking with you. Just like this. Oh. Um, really? What about you? Do you have fun talking with me? I'm not really used to conversation, so I'm worried I'm boring. Oh no, I love talking with you. It means I get to learn more about you. Really? I'm glad. So, you'll keep coming to talk to me, right? Of course. I feel like I should be asking you that. Thank you. I hope I get to listen to you for a long time. Are you tired? Maybe we should take a break. No, I'm fine. I'm not tired. I was just people watching. It's just a bunch of people shopping, though. I'm watching things like how the shopkeepers move, and how people choose what to buy. It's not like that's anything unusual. Oh, sorry. Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Never mind. She was locked away just like me. I don't know how long she spent in there, but it makes sense that she's still getting used to normal life. Hey, Yuma, what kind of shop is that? It's got a bunch of bottles on the shelves. Oh, that's a spice shop. They sell people little bags of spices, like pepper and stuff. Whoa, but what about that one? They have shelves, but they're all empty. That one's a furniture shop. What they're actually selling is the shelves. Same goes for those drawers and tables behind them. Whoa! What about the one next to it? Uh, Marion, that's my arm. Hey, come on, I wanna know. What kind of shop is that one? Marion, um, if you cling on to my arm like that, it's kind of, you know. And that shop has so many cute things on their shelves. They're all so tiny. Those are, uh, accessories, I guess. Wow, you know so much about the city. It's amazing. I don't really think I know that much. Sonia and Agnum taught me a lot. I see. You must be so happy. You've got a lot of good friends, and they're with you every day. Yeah, you know, I really am. We haven't really done anything at all. We ended up walking around with me talking about shops the whole time. Yuma, what's wrong? You look like something's bothering you. Oh, um, I just don't want this to be boring for you, you know? Boring? Why would it be boring? I'm having a lot of fun. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all so new. I'm seeing and hearing all kinds of things I've never known. I haven't had this much fun in ages. I see. But what's so fun about it? Uh, let me think. Hmm. I guess it's because of you. What? You're nice to listen to. And it was fun hearing you explain everything. Could we do this again someday? Uh, sure. Of course. I mean, if this really makes you happy, I'll do it anytime you want.
there's always so many people here. I wonder what they're all doing. Probably the same things as us. Walking, talking, relaxing in the shade. Going on dates? I... yeah. That too, probably. It's so weird hearing Marion talk about dates so casually. I can't tell if she realizes all the implications of it. Hi, mister. Hi, miss. Hello. Hi. Where are you two going in such a hurry? We heard a lot of tree nuts fell down around that tree. You want to come pick them up with us? Um, sorry. I'm taking Marion around town and... I don't mind. Let's go pick up tree nuts with the kids. Huh, you don't mind? No. I guess it's fine if Marion wants to. I was kind of hoping for some time alone with her, but... Whoa, look at all of them. Can we really take them all? Yeah, you can have the ones that me and Yuma picked up too. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I love you! I love you guys too! Thank you! See you! <laughs> You're welcome. See you later. Bye. I love you, Yuma. W I... you... Marion! Where did that come from? Huh? It came from me. When I heard the kids say they love you, I felt like saying it too. I... I see. I was just... surprised. My heart is pounding. I love you, Yuma. Huh. That's weird. My heart is pounding too. Yeah, I can still feel mine. Drink, Marion? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Okay, then let's go get something from that store. Wow, it's pretty crowded. I'll go get our drinks. You can wait here, Marion. Oh. I'll be right back. See you in a. Uh. <sighs> Marion? I can't go in if you keep clinging to my arm like that. Oh, yeah. Sorry for stopping you. Is Marion okay? She looked, she looked like she was about to cry. I'd better make this quick. I'm worried about her. Sorry for making you wait, Marion. The line was pretty packed. I wasn't expecting to be stuck in there for that long. Again? Yuma. Marion, what's wrong? You're a little more clingy than usual. I don't really understand either, but when you get far away from me, it feels like there's a hole in my chest. Around your heart? Maybe that means you're feeling lonely. Lonely. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. I'm lonely. Yuma, can you stay with me, please? If you're not here, I get lonely. Marion. I didn't know Marion felt so alone. She's never been like this since we got her to Astoria. I wonder if she still remembers being left alone in that facility. If that's the case, I might be the only one who can really understand how she's feeling. But, but it's really embarrassing walking around like this. Everyone is looking. Should I do something? Hey, Marion, it's starting to get a little crowded around here. It might be hard to walk if we stay like this. Yeah, I see what you mean. And when I walk with you like this, um, I can feel my heart start to pound. M me too. It feels like it's pounding right out of my chest. It almost hurts. Maybe it'd help if you let go? Yeah, I want to, but... But... But if I let go, 
I think that will really hurt too. My chest won't pound, but it'll feel empty. I... I see. Yuma, I'm really confused. What do I do? Then maybe we could keep walking like this, keeping each other close. But that makes our hearts pound, right? Yeah, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. Now that you mention it, it doesn't feel bad. I actually feel... happy. Right. So, how about we keep walking like this? Yeah. Let's go. Yuma. What's up, Marion? Nervous? A little bit. I wonder if we stand a chance against Georg. We know how strong he is, after all. Yeah, we'll be okay, though. As long as we stick together, we can't lose. I'm sure of that. Together? You and me? Sure. That's how we've always fought, right? No reason to change what's worked so far. You're right. Thanks, Yuma. I feel a little calmer now. Together, we'll do our best. The war's over. The friends who fought beside me are going their separate ways. Though, I do get to spend time with Marion again today. Something on my face, Yuma? You're looking at me weird. No, no. Just lost in thought. Marion's never left my side. I appreciate her to the end of the world, but... What's next for her? Yuma? Hey, Marion. What are your plans now that the war's over? Plans? Yeah. Any ideas for the future? Oh, I see. If that's what you're asking, I already have a plan. I want to be you, Yuma. Well, um, you're gonna have to run that by me again. Like you. I'm sorry, I, I should have said become like you. Words are hard. Uh, still not sure I get it. What does it mean to be like me? Well, you make people happy, right? I want to be that for at least one other person. I make people happy? Sure. I mean, I know I'm happiest when I'm around you. Oh. And I want other people to feel like that when they're around me. So, I want to be like you. See? Ah, uh, I get it. If that's the case, I think you've already gotten there. Huh? I mean, you make me happy, so that's one. Huh? And I know I'll stay happy if you're around. I can't imagine getting to here and now without having your help. And I think I'm realizing it's because I love you, Marion. Oh, I... I see. This is... love. I love you too, Yuma. I love Sonia and Kirika and the townsfolk too. But I think this is a different kind of love. When I say I love you, it's a special love. And I think I really, really love you, Yuma. Marion. Whatever happens, I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you forever and make you happy. I'd like that. Let's be together and make each other happy for the rest of our lives. Yeah, it's a promise, Yuma. You and I. We'll find happiness together, forever.